Okay, so let's start at step one, and that's deciding which area of your life is it that you'd like to work on first. You see, often people set goals like, oh, I want to be happier. The problem is that they don't always know where to start. You know, look at the term happier as an example. It's such a vague term. Happier than what? Happier in what? So what we're going to use is we're going to use something called a coaching wheel. And it's an invaluable tool to create awareness about what areas in your life you might want to work on because they might not be as great as you'd like them to be. So meaning this is going to show us the areas that you know, we might want to work on or maybe be coached on. Sometimes people say, oh, I want to lose weight. And what's not immediately obvious is that that might not be the most important thing in their life at that point in time. You know, sometimes the intended goal is not really the problem for the client. You know, what they think it is that they want to work on. So being overweight might actually just be a symptom of being unhappy in another area of their life. And so often what you might notice is that you work on one area of your life and that actually has an impact on other areas. Now that could be both positive or negative consequences. Example, if someone decided that they were going to start a new career, it might have a negative impact on their family life as they might need to spend more time away from the family. It might have a positive impact on their financial situation. So the aim here is we're going to look certainly firstly at the wheel of life is to become clear on how setting goals in one area may affect other areas of your life. So let's look at the wheel of life. Now imagine that the wheel on your car looked like the orange parts on this image. How far if you were driving, let's say you had a, a 500 mile journey, how far do you think you might get if your wheel looked like those orange bits? Or how comfortable do you think the ride is going to be? It's probably not going to be comfortable at all. So why is it then that we put up with this type of effect that's going on inside of our lives? And so people often don't realize the impact that one area of life has on the overall satisfaction in life. So as I mentioned, the coaching wheel actually takes many different forms. And we can easily do this. We're going to look at the wheel of life. There's also a wheel of business, wheel of relationship, and whatever other wheel you might want to create. Now, I'd encourage you to do the following exercises. And as you do, be totally honest with yourself. So look at your wheel of life that you've got inside your manual. And you'll notice that there's different sections, different pie parts, essentially, of this overall pie. So there's an area for career, finance, physical environment, health and fitness, fun and recreation, personal development, friends or community, family, romance, spiritual. And you could also have different wheels, different wheels of life. This is just one example. What you'll notice is that in the middle of the pie, that essentially is zero. Meaning, I'm absolutely, totally dissatisfied with that area of my life. And the outside of the pie is 10. So you want to score yourself on your level of satisfaction for each area in life, a 0 to a 10. Meaning, how satisfied are you? 0, absolutely not. 10, absolutely amazing. Couldn't be any better. Now, I said it's very important to do this honestly. Nobody's going to see this. This is yours. If you are working with a client, this is really useful to do at the beginning of your coaching partnership. And then again, a few weeks down the line or maybe at the end of the coaching relationship so that your client can actually track and see how has their satisfaction in that area of their life increased if that's the area that you've been coaching on or working with your client. Everybody would love to be a 10 out of 10. The purpose of this exercise is not to be a 10 out of 10. I mean, if you are fabulous and mark yourself as such. 
but it's not about being a 10 out of 10. What we're really looking for is balance. So when you've given yourself this rating out of 10 for each area, you're going to end up with a pie chart, something like this. So go ahead, do the exercise, and then I'll see you in the next video. And we'll talk about other areas and some questions that you might want to now ask yourself based on this exercise. So go ahead and do the exercise. Thank you.